Hello everyone, and it's been a while uh, since I made a video, I'm sorry about that, but that's because largely due to the fact that uh, World of Tanks has been disappointing at many times, uh, especially to do with some of the missions where uh, you pretty much just need pure luck, and uh, yeah, that, that just pisses me off, so I haven't been playing uh, for a while, uh, and also that's because World of Warships is out. And I think World of Warships is an absolutely brilliant game. It is slow, uh, which doesn't suit my flavour, but then uh, some of the stuff in there just, just makes up for it, uh, in my opinion. So I'm gonna bring you guys on video I decided, so um, just gonna be videos I find on World of Tanks replays, and um, if you got anything closely to as being as good as this, then I'm sure I can show it to everyone as well on the channel. So uh, let's begin. The batch hat, oh shit. I don't know why the hell is this art uh, reticle that large uh, for this replay. Uh, I have no idea why. So the T57 Heavy is like a slower, close, more closely brawling version of the MX 50B. And yeah, this thing can bounce a few shots with this weird armor profile. So 20 second reload is just very good, in fact for dishing out four shots with 400 damage each so this thing can really rip apart its opponents with only 20 second reload which makes Waffen Trigger U100s really bad in terms of reloads where that thing okay does way more damage but oh, come on this thing reloads in 20 seconds that thing reloads in a minute and remember you only that is pretty much the same reload as the KV2 so it's not long at all for what it does um, and you can see that this thing gets a uh, heat round which has uh, absolutely amazing penetration which can rip through um, its, um, its opponent with relative ease if you do wish to fire it and I think uh, there's absolutely every reason for you to um, to use it if if uh, if you're against let's say all E100s and stuff yeah and he just ammo ranks someone there what a nice result there and this thing goes into reload and you will see it reloading really quickly so I'll give you another channel update is that I got invited by YouTube weirdly enough uh, I received an email from YouTube saying I am going to get invited to the, water, the, the YouTube headquarters in central London and uh, get some classic Google lunch and have a beer with, the, uh, with other YouTubers and stuff and developers or something like that um, not, not really sure what it's all about but again why not go uh, next Friday so yeah that should be interesting and I shall show you guys some uh, hopefully vi uh, pictures or video clips and um, yeah all of those good stuff so you can follow me on Twitter I just ask me for it I'm not gonna get, put it in the um, comments section uh, or Instagram or whatever you call them uh, if you do want to follow me, and uh, I'm fine with that, you know, um, just just basically message me uh, in the comments below. And his platoon mate here in the T62A is not in a very good position, and now he's reloaded. He's gonna show that VK not to mess around here. And oh, that T62A to be honest, was quite a brave going in front of certain um, 90 and. Uh, BKB on the side, and oh, come on, 19, 30, 19, die, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's all we're gonna get of the 30, 90 there. He runs away, but there's a T49. He's not gonna run away from this, surely. Yeah, his mate in the T62 A does get him, and still his team is losing when he's already done 5k damage. But yet yeah, he's barely damaged. It just shows you that small guns really can't do shit to this tank. Uh, unless you hit it properly, of course. And he may he need to stay alive. Really, we need him alive. Now I wouldn't have shot the KV4 to be honest. Uh, I would have shot, waited, and shot the object 140 as they come up. I think that's a better choice to be honest. And here he should be able to catch it. Oh my God! Just don't. Why the hell do you do this in your uh, 140? You know, I don't, I don't get that. Why would you want to drive out retardedly? Like, okay, you might have a lot of health, but 
against three tanks, you're not gonna trade very well, isn't it? Especially when there's a T-57 heavy. Okay, Fosh. That is gonna be a problem. So, the T-49 with the little shitty small gun it has. Nope, one shot. Come on, kill them. Kill him. Yeah, and there goes the kill. Now, can he make use of the last two rounds of his uh, gun? Mm, not quite. Uh, I reckon I, if I was him at this situation, I would have loaded gold. What the hell is the Fosh doing? <laughs> don't, don't ask me what the hell the fo why the hell the Fosh would do that. <laughs> Driving out sideways and getting shot in the tracks, and this is absolutely insane. Three almost full health. Now, at the beginning, they were quite high health opponents coming up and with massive big ass guns. And are they gonna do what? Oh, he, he lands, I guess, a shot from the E100, which does hurt quite a bit, which Amorax him. But he does clip the Fosh. I have no idea why the Fosh is playing like that. Just, I, I don't understand that. But yeah, that, that is what you have to do to win your games, I suppose. He's on 9,500 health. Uh, he, he should be done. And this is just going to be epic if he pulls it off. But it's going to be very hard. And oh, his friend and him does, does just kill that FV together. That was awesome. Gave that FV no chance. Oh, E100 took the shot. And this is your opportunity to, to unload. And come on. Come on, at least kill one of them. Ah, yes, he got it. And now circling the E100. And E100 cannot reliably kill the T62. And here's, here comes it. Oh! Disaster strikes. His friend gets rammed by the E100. That is absolutely disastrous. And I think his friend really might have thrown that game away. Okay, plants one. Oh! And E100! Because of the shitty accuracy and etc. of the gun, he only managed to duck him in the tracks. And there goes survival. 12, more than 12,000 damage done and carry this like a boss. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, of course I'm going on holiday in the summer so videos will be limited um, but before I leave on holiday in two weeks time I'm pretty sure I'll make a shit tons of video for you guys. Um, sorry for the recent delays here and there but um, I think that will be fixed.